Hello friends, welcome to the lecture series on Introduction to Kinematics and Mechanisms. In today's lecture, we will discuss about straight line motion mechanisms. Straight line motion mechanisms can be classified into two types. First is exact straight line motion mechanisms and second approximate straight line motion mechanism. Exact straight line motion mechanisms are those in which the output point or a link moves along a straight line exactly. And in case of approximate straight line motion mechanisms, the output point or output link moves along a straight line approximately. Types of exact straight line motion mechanisms are Pusillier mechanism, Hart's mechanism and Scott Russell mechanism. And approximate straight line motion mechanisms are Grasshopper mechanism, Watts mechanism and Roberts mechanism. I have listed only those mechanisms which we are going to discuss in this lecture. So first one, exact straight line motion mechanism is Pusillier exact straight line mechanism. This uh, mechanism consists of eight number of links. These links shown in red colors, all of these links, link number five, six, seven, and eight, forms a rhombus. Link AB, link BP, link PD, and link AD all are of equal length. Point P on this rhombus will trace exactly the straight line in vertical direction. Now in this mechanism if L1 is not equal to L2 then the point P will trace a circular arc with a very large radius. Now for this mechanism to produce the exact straight line at the output, it should follow these geometrical constraints. Length of link 1 should be equal to length of link 2. So distance between O2, O4 must be equal to distance O2A. Okay. So length of link 1 must be equal to length of link 2. Length of link 3 should be equal to length of link number 4. So length of this link must be equal to length of this link. L3 is equal to L4. And length of remaining four links, link number 5, 6, 7 and 8 are same. So only under these conditions, the point P will move along the exact straight line. So for this kind of mechanism, you will remember the number of links. There are eight links. You will remember the number of turning pairs. Higher pairs are absent. So this is a lower pair mechanism which consists of all the lower pairs. The next one. So before that, let us see the animated image of Peusillier mechanism. So this is the Peusillier mechanism put into the motion. Here is your point P which moves along the exact vertical straight line. Okay. The next is Hart's mechanism. This is also the type of exact straight line motion mechanism. It consists of six number of links in total. So this is link number 1, O1, O2 which is a fixed link. O1A is link number 2. C to D is link number 3. Then D to E is link number 4. C to F is link number 5. 
and e to f is link number six. So these are six links forming Hart's mechanism. The geometrical constraint to be followed by this mechanism is fc must be equal to de. fc so this length must be equals to de and cd must be equals to ef cd this to this cd must be equals to ef so under such geometrical conditions this mechanism will trace the straight line let us see so this is how the point b travels along the horizontal straight line exactly this is Hart's mechanism okay next now number three is the scott russell mechanism which is also the exact straight line motion mechanism now in this this is the inversion of a single slider crank chain it consists of four number of links three turning pairs and one sliding pair fixed link is link number one oa is the crank link number two ap is link number three and slider p is link number four there are three turning pairs at O, at A, and at P. These are the three turning pairs, and one sliding pair between link number one and four. The geometrical characteristics to be followed by this mechanism are A is the midpoint of link PQ. So, A is the midpoint of link PQ. So this coupler link PA is extended to Q such that PA is equals to AQ and AQ is equals to crank length OA. So length of link 2 is equals to length of link 3 is equals to length of extended link QA. Locus of Q is copy of locus of point P. Okay, means point Q will copy the path of motion of point P, but Q will move along the vertical line and P will move in the horizontal direction. So during one revolution of the crank OA, OQ distance between O and Q becomes twice the length of crank. So the maximum distance by which Q moves away from O is 2 times the length of crank OA as well as the maximum distance with which the slider P moves away from point O is 2 times the crank length during one revolution of crank OA and this happens on both sides of point O. Okay. So while the crank is rotating, the maximum distance by which P moves away from O towards right is 2 times OA as well as towards left of O is 2 times OA. On both the sides, the maximum distance traveled by point P will be same which is equal to 2 times the crank length. So let us see the animated Scott Russell mechanism. So this is how the Scott Russell mechanism works. Point, uh, point P on the extended coupler link will move on the vertical straight line exactly. Okay. This is Scott Russell mechanism. The next we will discuss about approximate straight line motion mechanisms in which the output point will travel approximately the straight line. The first one is Grasshopper mechanism. It is usually a 4 bar linkage. Link 1 is fixed link. 
OP is link number 2 okay OA is link number 3 and this OAP is link number 4 so this is a 4 by mechanism where OA crank length OA is equals to AP square divided by AQ AP square divided by AQ this AQ OP, uh, AP square divided by AQ so under uh, this geometrical uh, constraint the point O will travel approximately along a straight line the mechanism is shown in two positions okay O1 P A Q and O1 P1 A1 and Q this is the second position so graph over mechanism So this is grasshopper mechanism, 4 bar linkage, fixed link is link number 1, this is link number 2, link number 3 and crank is link number 4. Okay, next one for approximate straight line motion mechanism is Robert's straight line mechanism. This is also the 4 bar mechanism where the proportions of the lengths of different links is given like this if l1 equals to 2 units that is if distance between this fixed pivots o2 and o4 is 2 length of link 2 3 4 and elements ap and bp is half of the distance between O2 O4 okay so if O2 O4 is 2 O2 A is 1 AB is 1 B O4 is 1 BP is 1 and AP is 1 so under this conditions point P will move approximately along a straight line horizontal straight line so this is the approximate straight line motion mechanism this is usually a non grassophian double rocker linkage where link number 2 and link number 4 will oscillate about their respective pivots with the fixed link so this is essentially a non grassophian double rocker linkage non grassophian means in this S plus L length of shortest and longest link is greater than the sum of length of other two links. So this is non grassophian linkage. And all the non grassophian linkages are double rocker linkages. This is Robert's straight line motion mechanism. Next one is Watt's straight line motion mechanism which is again approximate straight line motion mechanism for which these are the geometrical constraints L1 that is distance between O2 O4 is 4 units if it is 4 units length of link number 2 and link number 4 should be the half of this distance O2 O4 that is if O2 O4 is 4 units length of link number 2 and length of link number 4 must be two units and length of link number three must be one unit okay so link number three is half of link number two and link number four and link number two and link number four are half of the length of link uh, fixed link o2 o4 and p is the midpoint of link a b this is also the double rocker mechanism non-grassophian type double rocker mechanism where link number 2 and link number 4 will oscillate about the fixed pivots and while they oscillate point P which is midpoint of link AB will travel approximately along a straight line so that straight line motion mechanism is a non grassophian double rocker linkage
So point P, which is the midpoint of coupler ring, moves along approximate straight line. Thank you.